Try this problem. I hope you started by drawing the axes, indicating the positive directions. Now we have to now um, draw the components and the overall vector. We can start by drawing either the x component or the y component. Uh, let's start with the x component. Now notice that we're dealing with a case here where the axes are not horizontal and vertical, non-horizontal and vertical axes. Well, the x component is positive 5. And notice that it's pointing in the same direction as the positive x axis, because it's positive 5. Positive. And now I'm going to have to draw the y component. Well, the y component should be anti-parallel to the y axis, because the y component is negative, so anti-parallel to the y axis. So I'm not going to draw it like that. That wouldn't be right. Instead, like this. Now the key thing is remember, this must be a 90 degree angle. Make sure you draw a 90 degree angle here. Your components don't have to be horizontal and vertical. In this problem, they're not horizontal and vertical, but the components are always perpendicular. Components are always perpendicular. Okay. Um, now we know this length is a little bit less than this length. Um, so this arrow is not going to get all the way back horizontally to where we started. Since this length is less than this length, we're not going to get back horizontally where we started. I've kind of exaggerated that in this picture. Uh, let's draw the overall vector. Well, remember we could think of this as the initial point because this is where the x component started off. And we could think of this as the final point because this is where the y component ended up. And the overall vector should also point away from the initial point and towards the final point. So here's our overall vector. This might look a little weird, but it really is a right triangle, right? All we have to do is draw a right triangle where the overall vector is the hypotenuse and where the legs are parallel to the axes. So we've accomplished that goal. The question was asking us for the overall vector, but it's not enough to find its magnitude. We better find its direction as well. Generally, you're going to find the angle at the tail of the overall vector not at the head. Let's asterisk the information we were originally given. I'll asterisk this angle that I'm focusing on, so I see that the x component is adjacent, and the y component is opposite. Given two sides, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. Hypotenuse is f. One of the legs was 5, the other leg was 4. These are lengths, so we don't plug in sides. 5 squared plus 4 squared is 41. To get rid of the squaring, we have to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 41 is about the opposite and adjacent sides. Well, TOA, the tangent deals with the opposite and adjacent sides. The length of the opposite side was 4, and the length of the adjacent side was 5. Remember that now that we're dealing with lengths, we should not plug in sides. We're going to get misleading answers if we plug in the sides. At least uh, that's, that, that's the way that we're doing these types of problems. Uh, we have to take the inverse tangent to get rid of the tangent function. Inverse tangent cancels out tangent, and all we have left is theta on the left. And we have to take the inverse tangent of 4 fifths, which is 39 degrees. 
So now we know that this angle is 39 degrees. Uh, and then we'd have to draw pictures so that the reader knew which angle was the 39 degree angle that we were focusing on. Or if we wanted to describe this in words, how would we describe this angle in words? Well, is the angle bounded by the x or the y axis? And you see that this angle is bounded by the x axis, positive or negative. But you can see that this component is pointing in the positive x direction, so we're bounded by the positive x axis. Uh, but we are below the positive x-axis, or we might say to the left of the positive x-axis. Um, so we uh, are in a direction 39 degrees below or to the left of the positive x-axis. Or you can just draw the picture. Of course, you can't refer to the positive x-axis unless you've shown the reader what your positive x-axis is. So here would be a good answer. The magnitude is 6.4 and the direction is indicated by the angle of 39 degrees. When I drew this right triangle, I drew first the x component and then the y component. What would have happened if I had drawn the y component first? Well, if I would started with the y component, I would have gotten this triangle. Here's the triangle you get if you draw the y component first. And then it would have been natural to figure out this angle. Well, it looks like that if we worked out this angle, it would come out to be 51 degrees, right? Because 51 plus 39 is 90. So if that's how you work out the problem, that's fine. You can focus on this angle or on this angle. As long as you're clear about what angle you're talking about, either of those angles can be used to indicate the direction of the vector. Do this problem again if it gave you trouble.